Thank you for coming back. Um, we're still we're still dealing with debt, and we're joined by Simone Deb de Medici. Uh, Simone, thank you very much for joining us again. Thanks, Kerry. Uh, you're going to help us tease out these issues with debt. Absolutely. Now, how many clients have you had presenting with debt? What sort of problems do they actually suffer from? Well, interestingly, Kerry, it's kind of uh, becoming more and more so. Clients now are now facing uh, debt issues. Uh, simply because, and I think this is just as a result of uh, people becoming a little bit more conservative in terms of the GFC, uh, credit tightening and people wanting to save and now realising that they have a debt problem. We've been, um, I think in the last few years, having a lot of clients that have, uh, as a society, become a bit consumerist. It's been a consumerist society with people not really thinking that the times would get, you know, a bit tough and uh, they've just uh, carried on getting interested credit cards, interest-free things for a couple of years and they're not being able to pay them back. So I'm finding that my clients, a lot of my clients are coming now with debt problems uh, and it's presenting more and more. So could you give us an example of somebody who's presented with a debt problem and what the solution has been for them? Maybe even simpler than they thought, I don't know. Well, a typical example is sort of young people moving to their first home. Uh, it's been very easy to get into first homes with first home owner grants and all that sort of stuff. So they've come in now, they've geared themselves up, they've gone to Harvey Norman and got a two year interest free credit card. They've bought the package deal with the, the big flat screen tally and the, the lounges and the furnished their whole house. And uh, they're coming now because uh, things are tough. Uh, maybe one of them's lost their job uh, and they're really now wanting to uh, reduce debt and reduce interest. So they're coming now and, and wanting to uh, look at ways to reduce debt because they're feeling uh, a bit of pressure and some of them are a bit uh, uncertain about their jobs. Okay, so the government have uh, legislated to remove exit freeze from home loans. Mm -hmm. Have you used that to help any of your clients renegotiate loans? Uh, yes, I have. I have uh, been able to um, ensure that clients can now refinance from another bank. Um, in addition, uh, I think that uh, the banks are now regulated that they can't hold things up, so it's got to be done quite quickly. Um, exit fees, I guess, um, were not terribly dear, but certainly when you've got somebody that is uh, under pressure by debt, it is important, I, I guess, to try and make their fee structure a little, uh, a little cheaper so that they can go in and refinance their debt and try and um, amalgamate it so that the repayments are lower and they can manage. It wasn't so much the two to five thousand dollars fee out. It was the fact that the banks would mess around for months. Oh, absolutely, they yeah. take months, and to try and do a refinance settlement could take, you know, uh, anywhere up to two months. And it's very, you know, if people are uh, cope, not coping with debt uh, and need to refinance quickly, yes. uh, it's um, important that we can get it done, facilitated as quickly as possible. Can you give us an example of how that helped one of the clients? What, what their, how their situation changed? with a refinance? Yes, yeah, certainly. Um, I, I had, uh, and this has been in a couple of um, uh, examples, but a couple of clients have come in and seen me. Uh, they've had multiple credit card debt, multiple personal loans and their home loan. Mm. Um, fortunately, they had equity in their property whereby we could increase their home loan and uh, amalgamate or combine the debt of the credit card and the personal loans, put it into one. So now they've got one repayment that they're managing much better. And given that uh, they have got the one, they've been able to focus on putting more of their uh, surplus income into the home loan, thus reducing the debt that they uh, would have carried for a 30-year period. Yeah, and look, if they've got discipline, that's a good good outcome. If they haven't got discipline, then next problem, they've got less equity to deal with. Oh, well, that's right. And you yeah. don't want to get yourself into a position again where they're uh, back on the credit card cycle and going and getting other things and purchasing other things uh, because that way, they, you know, this is a, it's often a bit of a last chance opportunity for them to manage. The new credit card regulations that came in on the 1st of July, mm -hmm. have you recommended for any, for any clients to change their cards? Uh, yeah, I have done as that, that as well. Uh, a lot of clients are, um, well, now with debt and being um, very important to try and uh, calculate your interest because obviously the interest on top of what you're paying in terms of principal can increase and elongate the payment of something that you purchase, mm. but certainly um, for those that have had cash advances and perhaps uh, uh, those that had um, interest-free periods, uh, you know, it's important to make sure that the amount that they're putting on is clearing their interest immediately. Yes, that's right. Yeah. Okay, look, Simone, thank you very much indeed. You've helped us tease out some important issues on that, and we, we thank you very much for that. Thank and you, Kerry. We'll maybe see you at another time. Love to. Thanks very much. You're welcome. If the lessons apply to you, then fine. Just apply them. If you need advice to do that, seek it. There's no real reason to be saddled with debt when there are always 
some solutions and um, might or not always be palatable. It depends, I guess, how deep you are. But you know, when you're embroiled in debt, you, I think, you get depressed as well. And with the, the depression or you know not seeing your way out, so a lot of the simple options escape you. Right? Seek advice, whether it's someone like Simone or whether it's one of the local councils counselling services. It doesn't matter. But just seek some help. Uh, interest rates are falling, so really there's no reason to be debt saddled. Get rid of the thing that's causing it and fix the problem. Okay, we'll see you after the break and we're joined by Baden and I think you'll find Baden's spot really interesting, so don't miss it. See you after the break. <laughs>